Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Secret of Evermore in the last part. Uh, I got this little flying contraption, and we get to see here some Mode 7 in the entire expansive world. And we can circumnavigate it in about three seconds, I think. Alright. Or five seconds or whatever. This is where we came from. Now we need to get three items in total, or I guess technically four items in total. Uh, we need to get a gauge, a wheel, and a diamond eye. So you'll get the gauge and the wheel in Prehistoria. Which is here. But while we're here, we might as well talk to Fire Eyes. We haven't talked to her in a while. And yes, this is what the all these areas were intended to be. They're going to be landing pits for all of your... Uh, for, uh, for the Wind Walker. Now, being that the bazooka's a tad bit overpowered for this area, I'm going to be using my lance. Alright. And yes, at this stage of the game, you pretty much have way too much damage uh, for the given area. Come on, Ralphazy. Let's go talk to Fire Eyes. We haven't talked to her in a while, so let's see what she has to say. Hi, Dean Ambrose. Looks like you've been through a lot. That's for sure. Strongheart told me that he saw you riding on the back of a giant bird. It's the giant claw! Actually, it's a flying machine. My friend Tinker Tinderbox made it. That name is just so awkward to say. You know of other people in this world? Yeah! And two of them are from Brodunk, Horace and Camellia. Interesting, I know them. They were part of the experiment. The only one that's not that's not accounted for is my grandfather. I wonder where he could be. I've just decided to stop doing the voices because it's hard to remember what the hell voice I did. I think it might be in that uh, in some sort of strange space station. And Tigger's gonna help me get to uh, get me and Rafferzy there. That might be our only way back to Podunk. Now we're on a mission to find items that Tinker needs in order to get in this get us into space. Two of the items are a part of a big machine that was at the heart of the volcano. When the volcano blew, most of its debris landed on the slope and in the bug muck. Those would be good places to look. To search. Thanks for the advice. By the way, when you were in that experiment, was anybody besides you, Horace, and Camellia, and your grandfather? Uh, because someone is causing a lot of trouble around here, and that person might have had something to do with the experiment. That's an interesting theory. But no one else was there. No one except for the butler. But he was just a robot, programmed to clean the guests and serve the house. I totally said that right. <laughs> We're gonna get to the bottom of this when we get to the space station. Good luck. Let me know if you find the passage back to Podunk. I miss the place. Thanks for all your help, Dean Ambrose. Let me know if you get a passage back to Podunk. Uh... Hmm... Uh, let's see if we can use anything different. Uh, uh, lightning, I believe, is actually not that good. Even though I like the spell, I'm probably just gonna remove it. Or was it actually amazing? I can't remember. Fuck it, I'll keep it here. But one last guy we're also gonna visit, once again, is gonna be Strongheart. So, I'm gonna be taking this little detour down to see him again. <laughs> Anyway, we're back here in Strongheart's hut. Can talk to him once again in his bawling head. Dean Ambrose, what a pleasant surprise. I heard about your adventures in the volcano. Good job, I took another trip down to the bug muck after the volcano blew. Some of the debris from the volcano landed there. While I was there, I got new I got ingredients for my new formula. It will kill you in your ills and recover some of your health. I call it Miracle Cure. The formula requires two parts root and one part vinegar. Miracle Cure, cure is basically cure but with health gain. Uh, I guess it's helpful. You know, it's I guess. Because we already have so many ways to heal ourselves, but hey, yeah, one more won't hurt. I guess. And I believe he also will now sell us one extra ingredient, which is vinegar. However, because we did not exchange our currency in any form, we cannot buy a single part of it. I will not record progress. Now, if I talk to him as the dog... Hi, Ralphersy. Here's a gift for you. I found it in the bug mug. Looks like a pretty good collar. You should give it a try. Spot's collar is the best dog armor in the entire game. 
Whoa. In fact, I think it might be the best armor in the game, period. 135 uh, defense pretty much means that the dog is not going to get hurt that badly from any kind of physical attack. Anyway, since the trip down to the bug muck is pretty much the same and we cannot take that shortcut that we made when we first went through there, yeah, it's just gonna be quick time. Fast, whatever, forward the butts. Forward the butts. Alright, now there's not really much I can add to this next fight, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, just fight it with the bazooka. Holy color palette swap, Batman. A tad bit of a difference between this and the previous bosses. This boss does not actually have any, uh... But, oh, yeah. And he just casually uses Storm on us. My character just kind of no-sells it. Um, so yes, this is a... Actually, no, um... This character... This boss is, I believe, called Kolopatera or something like that. It's actually quite simple because there's no need to kill the arms at all. Or it, it, there might be, but it doesn't seem to be that prevalent. It's not It's not like they're taking that much damage from the heart. The really annoying thing, though, is like trying not to accidentally get thrown back like 20,000 yards. So let's see if I can get caught in the... Fuck. I can't. Hold on, let's see if I can... Oh, that's the other big thing, that he can shoot lightning out of his eyes. Usually that's something to note. Shit. Uh, fuck. Oh god, my char my main character might be dead. Yeah, that's his name, Colopatera. So I don't even know how much damage the dog took there. Uh. Fuck it, let's just get defend, which I don't think actually increases our defense against magic, but whatever. You know, maybe this will help protect us against evasion damage. Or, uh, just regular hand damage. Fuck. This guy does a lot more damage than you might expect. Fuck, I don't have, uh, I don't believe I have revive. No, I don't. So. Alright. So. Yeah, this is pretty basic, really. Super heal kind of renders a lot of damage ops like completely inconsequential. Because you can just heal up to full at any time. Alright, I'm just getting rid of his arm so I can cheese the game by like hiding in the guy's uh fucking corner fat. Ah. Keep shooting it prematurely. Come on. Alright, probably... I'm gonna try to keep using regrowth. Again, it's very hard to add much to this boss battle when it's literally just a palette swap with just slightly different uh, secondary um, attacks. It's still primarily all he does, and because there are no extra enemies and I forgot to refill my... Uh, alchemy. There's not really much I can add other than I'm using my bazooka. Ah, fuck, my bazooka throws me out. Alright. Jeez. Uh, I, I would still argue... No, this is not tougher than Verminator now. Think about it. Alright. I would dog cast, but I'm pretty sure dog casting might kill me. Actually, you know what? Screw it, I'm just gonna dog cast. Either way, I need to... Like, try to see, like, how high the damage can get with Explosion. Which was admittedly not as high with, as I would hope, but whatever. <laughs> I always thought, thought it was hilarious that if you're dog casting, the game uh, has mercy on the actual dog. Alright. Fuck, that's a lot of damage. Alright. 
should be fine as long as he... Thing is, uh, Calipatera, I think, does damage something in the realm of 150, or never more than 150. So I should be fine. Alright. Wow. I'm doing a lot of damage for... Actually, I've... I forgot, there's actually elemental weakness in this game. Yes, um... Okay, yeah. And I'm guessing he actually is weak to lightning, which is weird, considering he uses it all the time. So yeah, same explosions, different colors. Well, except for the explosion colors. Yep. All the recycling. Recycle everything. Also, notice, you can actually, uh... As the dog, you can actually pick that this up. The dog found a wheel. Now he slobbered all over it. Alright. So, uh... Oh, wow. I gotta actually switch to the boy. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna switch to the lance. And I'm gonna go to actually the base of the volcano. So, see you guys there. Alright, uh, instead of just walking over to the base of the volcano, I'm actually going to take the Wind Walker. Because, if you're paying close enough attention, you might have noticed that there were actually two flame pads. The one I went to, which is directly above the bug muck, and this one. Sure, you could argue the shortcut is meaningless, but hey, I don't- but hey, avoiding going through the Viper Graveyard? Whatever. And hey, look at the giant dog. Look at that giant dog. Giant dog statue. Although I found a mistake in the character says absolutely nothing about it. So whatever. Just like, huh, it flew all the way over here. I'm surprised Fire Eyes didn't mention that. Oh, incidentally, uh, Blimp's home? Yeah, you, uh, you might have been wondering. He's like, well, where is, uh... He's like, well, how did they stop you from entering the area that was supposed to have been blown away? Oh, the bridge doesn't extend anymore. So that's how. Oh god! Ralphersy, you're cursed! Alright, well, whatever. Ah, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Oh my god. Alright. Well, I'm mindlessly killing these things. Um. I, I'm, I don't know if you guys are. Right, well, I'm not checking the comments ahead, that ahead of time, but, um. Yeah, I'm sure some of you are wondering, wait, Carlos, why are you not showing the animations? The animations are all the fr freaking same for all these weapons. And besides, uh, from this point on, pretty much, I'm pretty much not going to be changing any of my uh, weapons. Once I get to Act 4, the bazooka pretty much becomes the primary weapon of choice. You could argue that's very dull, but it's also the most practical one. The bazooka has the most range and does the most damage. It also has technically the lowest charge up time of any other weapon. I don't mean that it charge takes uh, less time to charge to 100%, it's that it does max damage at less than 100%. So yeah, you don't have to stand up for anything when you're up there. Fun fact is um Actually, I'm going to show you like a little bit of a passive glitch at the end of this video. It has to do with the way the game reads the gauge and the wheel. A or the, the way the game detects whether or not uh, you need to do a very specific anim- You're going to be in a specific animation when you talk to uh, Tinder again. Or is it Tinker? I forget these things. But anyway, uh... And that has to do with the way that the game recognizes the gauge and the wheel. Apparently, the gauge and the wheel are actually programmed... Um, or the way the game detects whether or not you're, you're, you're uh, okay to uh, use the rocket is actually if you have three specific items. But it doesn't detect how, if any of those three specific items are repeats. And you can get the gauge again. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now that I've got the gauge and the wheel, 
or was it the wheel I got to get, get again? I'm gonna go over to Horus, uh, to, because I believe he was the actual one who had, uh, probably the most proper knowledge of where the diamond eyes are probably located. Alright, but while I'm here, I'm also going to get more Atlas formula. First of all, I need to talk to this guy. Please adhere to the following rules of the city square. No swimming, no swearing, no laughing, no crying, no talking out of turn, no line dancing, no moose calling, no sword play, no pumpkin carving, no mummified cat juggling, no wallowing in your own self-pity, no circumstantial evidence, no walking on grass, no pancakes on Monday, no dessert until you eat your vegetables, no snaps of comedy, no balloon animals, and absolutely positively no playing in the crater. It upsets me. I used to protect the sacred dog statue. Now I protect this big hole. Ha, I'm playing in the big crater. Woo! Are you upset now, dog? Woohoo! Anyway, uh, is he upset? No, he is not. He's just saying my the same rule. All right. Hello, young man. I hope a young ruffian like you, uh, like those bullies. I hope you aren't a uh, ruffian like those bullies in Crustacea. But anyway, the main reason I came down to this area is because I can buy more Atlas. What? Oh, I think I need the Atlas formula on my person at the time. But I'm gonna change formulas. Um, shit. Who else has the fucking thing? Quick like the wind. Wonder if this guy will still, <laughs> still there. I remember that I could target something in here, but I guess I'm talking out of turn. Now the really weird part, you can enter these these grounds because uh, Horus is now running the place. Hello, my wife and myself take uh, take care of cleaning and maintaining the place. Palace, fix this, fix that. Never arresting, never a moment's re uh, rest. Sacred dogs, I don't believe in them. Alright. Now, a very strange thing. On my Super Nintendo, this will sometimes uh, go as me sinking into the water. Sometimes it shows me floating above the water. But, if you go into the water at the right angle, you'll just kind of go into it. Alright, and I am keep hammering the A button because uh, you can find something in here somehow. So yes, JESUS walks amongst the earth. Alright. I'm running up against invisible hitboxes, so I am pretty much- Okay, I received 250,000 coin- Uh, 2,500 coins. Thing is, I've seen it, like, sometimes I'll sink it just dead down, but other times you just- You just kind of like, uh... You just kind of float. It- it really is- uh, inconsistent as far as I've seen. Alright. Yeah, for some reason, a lot of bone in here. Yeah, this place seems to have very just glitchy hitboxes. Like, here. I can't, even if I'm pressing down, like, all of a sudden I start spazzing out. Like, and now I'm mashing A just to see what will happen, and nothing. So I don't know if this is just a very glitchy sound effect. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you could fucking do some skip doing, uh, going here. But considering how late in the game and actually how relatively little time there is left, had I been speedrunning this game, uh, you know, wouldn't be much of a benefit. And then where's this guy's wife? Because I know she's here. Here she is. Hi there. I don't keep, tra please don't track any dirt into the palace. It's my job to keep the place clean. It, my husband complains about all the work around here. Truth is, I do all the work and he does the complaining. My husband complained. Yeah. Alright. I really can't tell if, like, uh, if there might be another one here. The problem is, like, because you really can't, uh, run up, you can only kind of run down. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can. Alright. Okay, now enough faffing about time to actually talk to Horus. By gum, it's my friend Wesley Snipes. 
Why the fuck did I say that? <laughs> I don't even know what the hell is going through my mind. Actually, I do know it's it's fight. It's a it's a raw where Kevin Nash was on commentary, and for out the fuck out of nowhere, he said that's not Booker T, that's Wesley Snipes. But anyway, it's my friend Dean Ambrose and for and Ralph Z. I'm afraid I have unpleasant news to share with you. Tiny has set himself up as a uh, as a leader of the Oglings, as the uh, in the depths of the pyramid. I fear the power has gone to his head. Should you talk, should you try to talk some sense in him, be very careful. I discovered a spell in the palace library that may be that may help you. It requires one limestone and two parts bone. It's very. I cannot fucking remember what this does. I think this just, um... I think this stops you from getting hit with magic, actually. But I can't really remember. Um... Ugh. But as far as I... As far as I know, it's probably not that good. I think it's probably supposed to be the same as, um... The call beat spell Shield. Which, uh, which probably means that I can use that as some kind of glitching method. But obviously, shield is much faster. Alright, I just wanted to see if they would react to the dog, but they do not react to the dog. Oh, no! Okay, I, uh, I can talk to Horus right now, and I can put on Atlas. Alright. Okay. Be careful around those oglins. We will do No! Come on, bro! What if I go in as a dog? Be careful around those oglins. Shit. <sighs> Fuck. So, I can't change my... Damn it. So, do I gotta cross the desert? Shit, I can't even change any of my alchemy. There's no one else I you can really go to in this area. Not that I know of. Shit. Is Atlas just suddenly there? No, it looks like you need Atlas in your party. As far as I know, Atlas actually does not increase the damage that the the barrier, or that, um... What's it called? How do I, uh, what am I thinking? Um... That the bazooka does. So, well, whatever. I'm just gonna stop there. So... Join me next time on Let's Play Secret of Evermore when we go over to find Tiny who has declared himself leader of the Oglins and uh, hopefully try to get the diamond eyes from him. So see you guys then.